This is Arcadian Landscape's newest, almost complete project. This is our last day on it. Um, as you can see, my guys are all working very hard. This project is located in the heart of Bay Park, San Diego. Um, this yard was nice before, but it was a little modest. We made it into a grandiose entertainment area. It's bordered by this nice cedar fence, uh, stained in a mission brown color. Um, this gate right here has a really cool um, keyless door pad, which is covered up with tape because we are painting it. Uh, this patio was, a uh, concrete patio was installed by us to give him some more room on the side of the house. As you can see, uh, the houses are visible from the top of the fence, but that's not going to be the case in a couple years. These Carolina cherries will grow up and create a nice hedge to give this property some good privacy. Here's some tall fescue sod that we installed. Um, and then check out this nice planting plan. You can see how it has three different sizes. The front is the low specimens. In the middle, those purple flowers are the medium. And then the tall plants are these fruitless olive trees. There's other fruit trees here as well. There's an avocado, grapefruit, and a nice little blueberry bush. Coming around to the back side of the house, you can see how elegant it looks with this nice white pergola. These posts are constructed with eight by eights and the beam is an eight by six and these rafters are eight by fours. Look at the detail on those rafters. See that nice craftsmanship right there? How they're all very equal. It creates a moderate amount of shade, but overall this thing just makes the house look amazing from behind. This tile slash concrete patio um, is a great feature of this house, which also adds to the elegance of it. Um, this tile borders these concrete squares that I have designed. As you can see, my guys are painting the house. Last finishing touches. Uh, the tile is three by six inch and it took a really long time to install, but it was really worth it. This middle square is placed precisely to be under the center of the pergola. That's the kind of detail that you will uh, experience while working with my company. Thank you.